What's up, YouTube viewers? I bought some things over the past couple weeks from Macy's and Top Man, and I just thought I'd show you guys. I'm not really the fashionable type. I'm very boyish and pretty simple, so if you're expecting very trendy stuff, I suggest stopping now. But otherwise, here you go. So first off, with my Top Man purchase, I got this shirt, which is not that special. It's a. I'm not sure if this is a real college or not, but the other striped shirts I have is only two colors, and this one's three. And this is also a scoop neck shirt, so rather than being tighter around here, it's more down here and not a v-neck, which I don't like too much on myself personally, but yes, I prefer scoop necks more than that. Second, I got this tank, which I see a lot of on Tumblr, so I kind of wanted one for myself, and it's not exactly the prettiest, but it was from the sale section, so it was around $15, which I still think is a lot for a tank, but I wanted free shipping, so yeah. Next two are just basic shirts I got because my other ones fit kind of small and tightish, so I wanted to go a size up. And this one is a white scoop neck for when I'm layering or want to go super duper simple and just wear a basic shirt. And then I have one in. Not exactly black, but it's gray. And this one is medium, so this should fit me more, more perfectly. And then recently I've been wanting to cut shirts, so I was on a look for rock band tees, and I found this one for five bucks at Cotton On. And it's a Rolling Stones t-shirt. Which I've always wanted, but not like this. I've always wanted the black one with the logos in a more vibrant color. But this will do. And it'll look much better cut up than it does now. Oh, and for this, I want to cut this shirt not like this, but like this, but more like a tank. And this is pretty much the thing I wanted the most from Top Man, which is why I bought everything else for the free shipping. And it's this tank. So what made me want this the most is pretty much the back of it, which is a, like more of a racer back than all my other tanks are. And my Macy's purchase was driven from what I bought from Hollister like three or four weeks ago. And I bought swim shorts, but they didn't fit me, so I returned them and sort of bought it out of spite. But anyways, um, I bought some swim stuff from Macy's since their clearance is really good. So all my swim stuff is basically like worth like $50, and I got them for around $20. So the first thing I got were these, and this is from Nike. And these would be perfect for me to go to a water park. There's actually several colors, but I liked this one the most. And what surprised me was, well, I'm not much of a swimmer, so I was expecting a net inside, but what I found is that inside this, this is pretty much what holds the camera seals. This black thing is pretty much what holds up your, or holds back your schlong and your balls. It would be pretty embarrassing to get a boner in this. Just as I thought I was done editing the video, I found out that I was actually not done and was speaking to a camera for about five minutes before thinking I was finished yesterday. So now I'm picking up where I left off 
which explains why I look different. <laughs> and so back to the boner. Basically, these are like underwear that doesn't hold water so that you don't get like infection. So you're basically not attracting mold and bacteria and have it grow on your privates. <laughs> and it looks like this. And I actually bought a second one from Speedo, but I ordered them in the same size, which were both medium, but apparently Speedo's one is more true to size or something, so I have to reorder it in large if I really want it. And I'm trying to put it off so that I hope that I can get it cheaper, and if not, then it'll probably be gone and I'll just wait for next season or something. But, yeah. That one was more cute. And then I also got these, which are more conservative, I guess. But these also go above the knee. Since I'm short, I like it like that. And these aren't anything too small. And these aren't anything too special. They're just navy with the Speedo logo with the tie inside and the net. And there's no pockets in this one besides this. And if I didn't mention already, these are both around $20 and originally twice that. And then lastly, I bought more underwear to add to my collection. And since I'm always stocking Macy's sale section, I got all these for about $11 each. So these two are from Two Exists' Bright Collection. And this is from Diesel. So, one's in brief and one's in trunk. And one's in black and one's in white. And this one has cool packaging. But yeah, it's nothing too special. And I do believe that designer underwear is worth the price. What you want to do to get the best deal is stock sites like Macy's. Dot com to get them at half price and my biggest deal from that section would probably be my Emporio Armani ones which I also got for $11, $12 and those are like the best fitting trunks I've ever worn so far. Hopefully that will be it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you next time. I love y'all and bye!